how do you navigate instances where, for example, you have to teach something that you may not be so well versed in, and then coming into a place where, like you said, you know, there are people there that might actually know this thing better than you, but then you are tasked with delivering the content the best way you can mm -hmm. and having that idea that, yes, this is my responsibility. I have to give, I have to provide. I might not be the best in this field myself. And I, ha I, I know a lot of this because a lot of my peers go into teaching, not because they really want to, but because they right. have to, right? right? To have this sort of mm -hmm. second income stream income, kind of thing. And it's yeah. almost a given that dancers become educators, but not all of them are made to educate. I yeah. admit I am a, I'm a pretty horrible educator when it comes to <laughs> facing students in the class. I do it better through a podcast, let's say. <laughs> so there are different ways to teach. Mm -hmm. Now, in your opinion, in your experiences, how, how do you go about that if you were in that particular situation? So it's interesting. I, yeah, it's funny. Teaching is always a backup the backup profession. Oh, I teach because it's a backup to my performance or choreography dreams. And again, if you have that frame of mind, you're going to teach how you're taught. And if you're lucky and have had good teachers, you're going to replicate great things. If you've had teachers who have maybe outdated practices or are more traditional perspective, you, you might, you might miss out on some opportunities, something that's outside of your comfort zone. I'd recommend obviously do your research and do the research from the people who are experts in that particular field. And also if it's a particular dance out, people from that culture. I think that that is so imperative that you learn people who, from people who live and breathe that culture, right? I want to learn from hip hop from someone who is in the culture, not someone who has a watered down version of, of whatever that is through a different experience. So if you're going to do, you know, educate yourself, make sure you do your research that, and that those people you are learning that thing from are authentically in that dance style, authentically in that field, in that uh, part of the industry, etc. The other thing I recommend is to share with your students. You know, sometimes I have to teach a dance style I'm not as well versed in or that I, this is outside of my wheelhouse. And this is what I've researched. This is what I'm sharing. If you know anything about this, please add in. And I've had that to, to an extreme, for instance, I was really fortunate. I went to this, I worked at this awesome school and taught dance there for four years. And they had an incredible Chinese exchange program. And so I had several students who had for eight, nine years been trained in classical Chinese dance and Chinese folk dance. And so, uh, like, are we doing a unit on Chinese dance? And I'd say, well, dancers, I, I've never, I've never study this. I don't know. But what about you? Can you lead us? Can you teach us? And so I think we as teachers have a fear of admitting we don't know because we're expected to be the knowledge holder. But when, like I said, tying back to your first question, when you establish community, when you establish we're all knowledge holders, when you establish that we're all to have actually been trained in that dance style, choreograph entire dances, teach their peers and put it in our show. And so what kind of message does that send my, my students that like, I don't know, but you know, and I'm going to celebrate you and I'm going to lift you up and I'm going to let you be the leader and I'm going to help you teach well. And I'm going to put you on stage for something I know nothing about versus responding from a fear place, fear, oh, you're going to catch me that I don't know. Oh, fear that I need to know everything. Oh, I, I don't want to do something that I'm unfamiliar with. That's such a fear. That's such fear-based leadership. And that's just so not what I'm about. I think it's okay not to know. And it's okay to let other people know and shine and, and be the expert in the room. It doesn't